Okay, so you're ready for a deep dive into genetics. Let's do it. Awesome. We've got this uh, fascinating podcast episode here. I've been looking over it, and there's just a ton of great information in here about genes, inheritance, DNA, and uh, even um, yeah. genetic engineering, all that good They're stuff. really cutting edge. Yeah. So are you ready to jump in? Let's get into it. All right. So this podcast starts off by talking about DNA, you know, like the instruction manual for life. Yeah. All those instructions, all that code. I mean, sometimes it feels like those, you know, assembly <laughs> instructions for furniture. Oh, yeah. You get like 17 different languages in there and it's like, where do I even start? Exactly. It can be pretty overwhelming to think about. But um, you can think of it like this. Your DNA is this incredible blueprint. Oh, okay. It holds the code for how to build you, how to run you, everything. And all of those codes are organized into these things called genes. Genes. Genes, yeah. And genes are basically like specific instructions for making these things called proteins. Okay, so if DNA is the entire instruction manual, then each gene is like uh, a separate blueprint for a different part. You got it. Okay, perfect. I'm with yeah. you. Now, this podcast also uses these terms, genotype and phenotype. And I got to say, yeah. I always mix them up. <laughs> it's easy to do. I mean, they sound so similar. Um, but think of it this way. Your genotype, that's the actual genetic code that you inherit. So it's like the specific letters in your instruction manual. Okay. Okay. Phenotype, that's what you actually see. So that's the traits that your genes express, you know, like whether you have brown eyes or blue eyes or how tall you are. Ah, so genotype is like the raw data, and then phenotype is like how that data is translated into me. Exactly. Got it. Okay, that makes much more sense. So we're talking about genes, and that makes me think about Gregor Mendel. Oh, yeah. Remember him from high school biology? Of course. The pea plant guy. Yeah, those Punnett squares and all that. But, I mean, he was really onto something huge with inheritance, right? Huge. I mean, Mendel basically figured out the basic rules of how traits are passed down. Like why I have my dad's terrible sense of direction. Exactly. He was the one who showed how traits can be dominant, meaning you only need one copy of the gene to express that trait. Okay. Or they can be recessive, which means you need two copies of the gene to have that trait. So that explains why some traits just seem to skip a generation. Exactly. Those recessive genes, they can just hide out until they, you know, find another copy of themselves to pair up with. Wow. That is so cool. I love that. It's like a genetic lottery. He is. Sometimes you hit the jackpot and sometimes not so much. But speaking of genes, this podcast mentions this crazy fact. Okay. It says that except for identical twins, no two people on earth have the same exact DNA sequence. That's right. How is that even possible? I know. It's kind of mind-blowing. But it all comes down to these things called mutations. Mutations? Okay. Yeah, mutations. And those are just like these tiny little changes in the DNA sequence. They're actually happening all the time. And most of the time, they're completely harmless. But, you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they can result in some new traits. Or they can sometimes lead to diseases. So it's like having a typo in your instruction manual. It, it is, exactly. Sometimes it's just a tiny little thing, doesn't change anything, but other times it completely changes the outcome. Exactly. That's a great analogy. So all this makes me wonder how much of who we are is actually predetermined by our genes and how much is it our environment, our experiences? That is the question, isn't it? It's this complex interplay of um, nature and nurture. I mean, scientists are constantly trying to figure out how much each one contributes. Right. It's sort of like baking a cake. You know, you need the right ingredients. That's your genes. Right. But then how hot your oven is, how long you bake it for, that's your environment. Both matter. I love that. Okay, so this podcast also gets into some of the more complex topics like molecular genetics. Yeah. Which honestly sounds a little intimidating. It can be. But, um, I mean, really at its heart, it's just the study of how genes actually do their thing, okay. how they work. So it's like zooming in on those blueprints Die. and seeing how the instructions are being read and carried out. Like watching these tiny little molecular machines. Exactly. And there are these processes like um, replication, where DNA makes copies of itself, and transcription, where the DNA code is turned into this messenger molecule called RNA. And then that RNA is used to build proteins in a process called translation. So we're talking about like the nuts and bolts of how genes actually function. Exactly. Wow, that is so intricate. Then there's also population genetics. Right. Which sounds like it's taking a much broader view. Yeah, it is. So instead of looking at just one tree, you're looking at the entire forest. Oh, I like that. Population genetics, it studies how genes move around within and between populations. Right. And how things like natural selection can shape 
you know, the genes of an entire species over a really, really long time. So we're talking about evolution. We are talking about evolution. Survival of the fittest genes. You got it. And all of this leads us up to probably the most fascinating and maybe even a little bit scary topic, genetic engineering. It's definitely the most cutting edge. Yeah. I mean, it's where we move from just observing genes to actually manipulating them. That's right. I mean, you know, with genetic engineering, you can imagine correcting genetic defects that cause diseases. Yeah. Or, you know, creating crops that are resistant to pests or drought. I mean, the possibilities. The possibilities are incredible. Seem almost endless. Yeah. It really makes you think about what the future holds when we're talking about, like, rewriting the blueprints of life. It really does. And that's why um, we need to be really thoughtful as we move forward with this technology. I mean, it's incredibly powerful. And with great power comes great responsibility, right? right? So we really have to consider all those ethical questions, especially as this technology keeps advancing. I mean, this is a new frontier for us. It is a new frontier. Mm -hmm. A lot to learn, a lot to explore. I mean, just from this one deep dive, right. I feel like I've learned so much. Me too. From the basic rules of inheritance to the incredible complexity of molecular genetics, and then all the way to this mind-blowing future of genetic engineering. I mean, genetics really impacts every single one of us. It really does. I mean, it's the foundation of who we are. And the more we learn about it, it seems like the more we realize how much we still don't know. That's true. But one thing's for sure, we're just at the beginning of this journey of discovery. And it's an exciting one for sure. Yes. Yeah. So much more to come. Absolutely. All right. Well, that was a fascinating deep dive. It really was. I'm so glad we took the time to really go through all of this. And for everyone listening out there, I hope you enjoyed this as much as we did. I hope so too. If you want to learn even more about genetics, we've got some great resources linked in the show notes. So be sure to check those out. Yeah, definitely check those out. And until next time, keep on learning and keep on exploring because the world of science is full of incredible discoveries just waiting to be made. That's right. See you next time. <laughs>